today we are going to do the magnification of a microscope and resolving power so magnification you might have observed that the size of the letter will be increased by several times the number of times a specimen is magnified is known as the magnification of the lens or magnifying power so you have to remember this the number of times a specimen is magnified is known as magnification so we can go to the next page so there you have activity activity 10.3 observe different things by using a hand lens use a table to record your observations try to separate things which cannot be seen through your naked eye clearly so then um, materials observe soil sample yes you so in here you have to get um, some things different things by to watch by hand lens and you have to record the observations so then mm, you can do it i am not going to help you resolution resolution is the minimum distance by which two points must be separated in order to be seen as two distinct points that means there i so i in the previous lesson i told you that there have to be a distance to be large in large to enlarge the um, image and so then their resolution is the minimum distance by which two points must be separated in order to be seen as two distinct points so that you have to remember that also there should be at least a minimum distance of 0.1 mm that means uh, sorry um, millimeters between two adjacent points to distinguish between them by the naked eye that means there have to be a minimum distance at 0.1 millimeters um and um yes so then now you will realize that the resolution of the naked eye is around 0.1 mm then there you have activity and another activity activity 10.4 you will need a colorful piece of picture from a paper a hand lens method observe a picture from the paper by a hand lens present your observations to the class so when you do that you will observe that the respective image is composed of a large number of small dots seen by the naked eye so that means um, that picture has been made by several you uh, know a large amount of small dots <coughs> okay so then you will see the see these dots very clearly by a hand lens now you will realize that the resolving power of the hand lens is higher than the resolving power of the naked eye so you have to realize that okay so there you have another activity a white you will need a white paper a pencil or a pen a two hand lens so then you have to do like this mark two dots with the minimum distance of not touching each other and observe the distance between the two dots and their magnification by using a hand lens so now we use two hand lenses to observe the distance between two dots and their magnification it must be clear to you that the distance between the two dots is maximum magnification is maximum 
when two lenses are used for observations. Accordingly, two hand lenses or two convex lenses can be used to obtain a higher magnification and higher resolution. So you will need convex, you, no, you will um, realize convex lens in light. So, but don't think about it now. Think about the lesson. Lessons, lenses. Don't think about mirrors. It's about lenses. So, similarly, the compound light microscope is produced using two convex lenses with a high magnification power. Yes. So, that activity means um, there, there are, I will explain you, there are two uh, kinds of um, you know convex lenses in the compound light microscope today i'm not going to teach that today our lesson is over so um, however in compound light microscope uh, the the thing that we it is produced using two convex lenses with a higher magnification power so Thank you.